The asthma clinic is available to the pediatric patients in, in Wilmington Health. Um, the clinic runs every Wednesday and two Thursdays a month. We try to see patients that um, are um, struggling with their asthma. Anybody that's more than a mild intermittent um, classification would come to our clinic, hopefully. And the idea is that we want to provide them the best quality of life, life that we can with the least amount of medicine. And to do that, we have to see them frequently, we have to teach them, and we have to perform some tests like the pulmonary function test. Probably about three to four years ago, we really saw a need to intervene with our patients with asthma. Even though everybody gets you know, similar training and there are set guidelines for asthma care, we were seeing that our patients weren't getting as consistent of care as we would have liked them to get. And so we decided to set up a asthma clinic where different providers would come in once a week and they would just see patients with asthma and manage their asthma. So we originally started, we were all trained um, in a national training program for asthma care and asthma education. It originally started off with four different providers running the clinic. And I think we still saw a little bit of inconsistencies um, on how each person, everybody has a little bit of nuance in, in how they treat their patients. And so about two years ago, um, I was asked if I would be willing to be the primary provider for the asthma clinic. And I was like, sure, I love this. This is a great population of patients to treat. The more consistent we can make it, the better their care, the better their outcomes are gonna be. I'm the asthma care nurse, and it's a wonderful role. I love it. I get to um, really know my patients and their families well, um, which is terrific, and I get to do lots of teaching and follow-up, preparing for asthma clinic, and uh, that's kind of delving into the chart, making sure that, that we're aware of the different specialties they may have seen recently, um, checking um, their refill history and things like that to show their compliance, to see how compliant they are and um, to, to help them to improve in, in their compliance. We have a couple different subjective tools that the parents um, fill out for us and then we also use a very objective tool called spirometry which actually measures their lung function. Um, gives us a good idea of do they have some restrictive airway disease, do they have some obstructive airway disease, helps us determine if they're on medicines, are their medicines working, if they're not on medicines, do we need to put them on medicines, so that we are staging their asthma and we are treating their asthma correctly. Usually what happens is in young children, they come in and they're sick, they have a wheeze, and so the provider that they see may not be the provider that they follow that follows them in the asthma clinic. But they come in several times, maybe in a year, with the same symptoms and the same need for medication. And suddenly it's okay, we're, we're at a point where we can diagnose this child. And at that point, they would probably refer them to asthma clinic or they may make the diagnosis at that time. And then, uh, according to their severity, um, do they need more than an occasional albuterol inhalation or do they need steroids, et cetera, et cetera, then they would come to the asthma clinic if they're in need of that type of thing. And we would taper those medicines and alter those medications according to their symptoms, um, the different tests that we perform that are just written, in other words, asking them questions on um, that's a routine form, and the spirometry. With all that information together, we'll make a decision as to um, whether their medication needs to be tapered up, tapered down, things like that. One of the things we deal with a lot is that the parent has decided that the child um, can't do the things that they used to do. And so I'll say, well, are you having any trouble with exercise? Are you experiencing any symptoms? And they'll say, well, we just don't exercise anymore. And so it's really fun to encourage them and say, no, 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 that's not our goal. Our goal is to get you back out there doing everything. And if it takes a different dose of medication, that's what we're here for. And that usually reassures them and the child, especially when you look them in the eye and say, I don't want you to feel different than anybody else. So we, we want you to feel like you can do anything you want to do. We've actually had people come in that didn't realize that their asthma was as bad as it was. And they don't realize that they can feel better. So we've had kids come in who have been on absolutely no medication whatsoever. We talk to them about their asthma. What are your symptoms? What do you have going on? We do that measurement of their lung function 
one particular the young lady that we've actually we started very slow stepwise have gotten her on medication she's an athlete she's like I didn't know that I could feel any better and she said now I do she's doing our sports without any problems she's doing all our other activities without any problems that's success that tells me we've done something right and that's our whole goal and to keep them out of the emergency room to keep them out of the walk-in clinics so that they are not getting medications that they don't need, but they're taking the medications that they should take every day. Sometimes we'll have somebody that's been struggling and struggling and struggling, and we've been seeing them changing their medicines, and then all of a sudden everything clicks and they come back and, and let you know that they feel better. Anytime when you re they return and they look at you and say, you know what we did last time, it really worked. I've seen a difference. It's very rewarding to see that um, and to, to feel that excitement that Something happened that should happen for this child. It's really rewarding because when they return, they get to know you and they're just delightful. They're so much fun. They, um, you walk by the hall and you won't have seen them yet. Hello, hello, <laughs> you know. So I really love um, working with them, they're fun.